my bolus. I just drifted this 89 log bet forward. So I could do anything. International walk. <laughs> No, it's not. What's up, man? I got your food. Dude, I can't hear you, man. I can have food. Take a seat, right? Oh, where is it? Oh! And you might have just broken the studio. Here's Riley. Hey. Yeah, I feel very comfortable in this setting right now. Oh, boy! Don't ask any more stupid questions. What's up, everybody? I'm Dylan. I'm Paulie, a.k.a. Regina Falange. And I'm John Boldus, and you're watching Oh Boy! Now, before we start today's episode, um, we just obviously have to address the missing person the in missing the room. Minch. Minch was here about uh, <laughs> two minutes ago, and he is uh, not feeling well, so Minch no. is going to have to go home for the night. And uh, like Minch, my chin strap's missing, and a lot <laughs> yeah. of things are missing, so, so much yeah, has it's, changed. A, it's a new show. So, so much has changed. So much has changed. So, Polly, I guess we're right back on cue, and let's yeah, let's keep this going. Off. Well, to start off today's show, we're going to look into our weekend recap. It was a busy week for I think all of us. So, oh, yeah. why don't we start that off? We'll go with how about John? Since yeah. we haven't seen you, were, yeah. you're in the hometown. We were dude. separate. I actually, oh yeah, My your hometown. hometown, yeah. So, me and Megan went over to Buffalo. We were going to a Halloween party at her brother's place. So we were there, for, uh, I think, just Saturday. Yeah. But we were literally probably within 10 minutes of Dylan's house the whole Should've time, gone. which I didn't realize until we left. Should have gone, seen Big A, the yeah. fam, I all should've. that. Um, as far as me, Paulie, and uh, Minch. Wherever Minch right? Yeah, wherever, wherever <laughs> Minch is. We're sure he's battling for his life right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm the John. John, I'm the John. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we were out in uh, Massachusetts. We were there for our first um, big flag football tournament, um, a nurse out tournament. We, uh, we got there Friday afternoon, I'd say. We had our first game against um, BU um, at 8.15 on Friday night. Uh, we played pretty well. We won that game. Paul, you want to add anything on there? Yeah. We'll, we'll go mean, game by game. Yeah, but. right. So uh, after that game, I think we won 20 to 6, so BU yep. really turned into PU at that yeah. point. Um, but it was fun. They were good guys. When you're on the line, as I am with uh, my buddy Brad and all the other people online, you kind of get the sense of, uh, you're jarring between them, but then you're also talking about the game and stuff like that. I know you, it's a different story because you're the quarterback. I think it, you might take a little bit more personally than us, but yeah. we always try to yeah, have no, conversations, like have a good time. But uh, no, we definitely had a good time in, in that first game. And then what we went we on the Navy. That? We Navy went on the, the Navy morning. the next day. And uh, let me tell you, that was a little rough for me on the line. There's this guy who was about, he probably was a foot or two taller than me. His he name was, was Hap. We ended up Hap? Hap, H-A-P. I didn't, it was see, Hap. I didn't even care to learn his name. I, I know. I learned his name is Seven. I was like, Seven, I don't even know your name. What's your name? He goes, my name is Hap, H-A-P. And I go, happy to meet you, Hap. And he's <laughs> like this tall over me. I go, this guy will surely stop me in the ground. And that's exactly what he did if you were there. The, like maybe the first play, he kind of got me with his elbow and I fell. Could have been a flop job. And he was like, stop <laughs> flopping because then the ref threw the flag. And I was like, dude, that's not a flop. Like, yeah, come on, give me just... that one. And then later in the game, he did it again. And I I was flat on my butt. And I was like, come on, man. But he was like, nah, man, like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And so that's the thing you got to do on the line. It's like you might be a little mad at these guys. But then it's also like you make the connection. So then we saw him the last day on Sunday. And we kept, like, we talked about our schooling and education yeah. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, them so, being in the Navy, there's, a lot of fun. there's not much schooling, yeah. it's just swimming. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> but, true, that's true. But no, um, we ended up losing that one 14-13. to 13. That was a tough game. We played really well. We were the only people to score on them all weekend, so that was pretty awesome. We went on to play U... Mass Boston. The inner mural yep, team, I we believe. We beat them. Yeah. That was a that high was a scoring game. That was, was I think the final score was like, like 28 to 20. Something like it, yeah. Um, we definitely t didn't take it as we seriously went on, as, no, as no, we No, no, we were have. just having fun. We, and then we, we went on fun. to uh, finish six overall in the tournament on a 17 team, so it went pretty good. And it was but, uh, well, that's all we got for our weekend recap. John had some <laughs> Halloween parties and uh, yep. not how many picks. There were <laughs> never enough. But anyway, um, that's all we have for our weekend recap. So we'll see you guys after this break for uh, Bystanders to Bros.
Say, President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team 10. Jill told me it was Kitty from Glee. Yeah, what it's is it? Al Roker. <laughs> Welcome back to. Oh, oh boy. boy! I got you, John. <laughs> like hey, I said before the no. break, everyone was really busy this weekend, so unfortunately, there's no Minch on the street this week. Next episode, we promise. So, uh, obviously, Minch, welcome back. <laughs> but while <laughs> we were missing back, some important and probably one of the best parts of our show, we decided to follow it up with another segment of Bystanders to Bros. Join us today is Jeffrey Santos. Yeah. yeah. Come on, yeah. Jeff. <laughs> Get in here. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Yeah. So a little, uh, little background. Um, Jeff, <laughs> so right. Riley and I, we both TA. Um, Jeff is in our class, and he is a star student. Just the uh -huh. one of the best. One of the best. Um, he yeah, yeah. Probably the nicest thing I've said to him all semester. Yeah. Jeff is probably the kid that I just rip on the most in that class, out, all out of love, and I know he can take it. I, I'm just, I'm a little mean to Jeff, but it's because okay. I love him, but I love him. And he's learning how to slowly but surely give it right back. But uh, Jeff, we got some questions for you. John, if you want to ask the first one. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? And how do we know you? I guess yeah, we got to explain that, how we know yeah. you, but. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm a sophomore here, and um, <laughs> <laughs> so what did I want to know? Like, uh, what, what, tell us, where are you where from? Are you from man? Okay, so I'm from um, <laughs> New York. I'm from the Bronx. Yeah. Um, born and raised from Fordham. If y'all know what Fordham's at, <laughs> tell me. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Like, All right, well, Jeff, that, yeah. one of the first like actual conversations that you and I ever had was about football. Yeah. You played football, right? You want to yeah, tell us I a played, little bit about that? Um, so I played center in um, Frederick Douglass Academy. Um, I was like Jason Kelsey, you know, but I had a career, <laughs> career ending injury. I was supposed to play D1, but you know, yeah. Go back. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. Get your tonsils removed? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much a live footage of how class is. Um. Nah. You know, it was a non-contact injury. Sadly. Oh. Um, you broke your heart. Yeah. 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 Some girl yeah. broke your heart, Jeff. Yeah. So then I had to fake an injury and just. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get my back with the fake injury, but it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Fair enough. You play AR sports. Um, no, I, used to, I played basketball, but just for fun. Not really just like, for fun. Yeah, I was never on the team. All right. Mitch, you got a question? <laughs> I hear you're a Harry Potter fan. Just out of curiosity, who's your favorite character? Um, the one who's not oh, to be no. named. Oh, no. The one what are we doing? Named. This one's early today. What's up, Kenny? Hey, guys. This one's a little early. Oh, today. Today. What's oh, going on? So, all right, all right. Anyway, who's your favorite, uh, your favorite Harry Potter character? Right. So, the one not to be named, you know? Because Voldemort, Voldemort. Just because he, he made Harry Potter Harry Potter. Like, without him, there's no, there's nothing in Harry Potter. He wouldn't be who he was. He made it interesting. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, Boldest, 
Um, hey, bye, Kenny. You see what's on that, that little tote? Dude, right there? wow. Yeah, that's the first I'm learning of this. It says that you have a clothing brand. Yeah? Yes, sir. Hoodie, I go. Are you wearing it? Now? Are you it? Stand, stand up, stand up. Show it up a little bit. Do a little 360. Show us what you got. I see the back. Yeah, I see the back. DNT. I thought it was DNT. Cool. Pants oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? Those are pretty cool. Where are you selling? Mm -hmm. Huh? Where are you selling? Like online? Like, what's um, the whole. So we haven't dropped anything yet. We just been like. Back to the extreme close up of chat. We just been like, um making clothes but we haven't dropped anything we actually are trying to drop um some shirts next week so hopefully yeah. i could hopefully i'll tell you you're gonna, yeah. cop, you gonna cop i'll shirt? cop one all right but y'all gonna cop a shirt no oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, i'm wow. kidding i will i will oh, wow. gotta trust god's plan of course yeah, i will of course. yes sir <laughs> there you already go. endorsing them drake right there yeah no nah, well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh what you uh you like dogs that's what our prompter is telling us riley just kind of gave us some little Key bullet points. You like yeah, dogs? Yeah, I got a, I got a German Shepherd that back at home. Yeah. What What's his cats? name? You like cats? cats? Um, What's your dog's name first? Nova. Nova. Yeah. That's actually ah. a pretty That's gnarly it. name. Backwards, it's Avon. She's six years old. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. What a smart guy. I said backwards, it's Avon. Mm, what a smart fellow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Not the first moment. What about what about <laughs> cats? You a big cats? cat guy? Nah, I never been a cat. I never been a cat guy. No. Well, hey. we both have cats. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's all right. No. That was mine. Those are. <laughs> they're not uh, cats. They're dogs. Actually, they're the dogs. I had a dog. In case I know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What kind of cat's your favorite cat? Uh, you got me there. I don't know nothing <laughs> about cats. I'm gonna be honest. A tom cat. What kind of yeah, dog is your favorite dog? What kind? Can't say. Oh. I gotta say German Shepherd. <laughs> chin cam. Oh, chin oh cam. Boy. Strapless. The yep, strapless. Oh. Right. Jeff can donate though. He's got a lot, dude. Yeah. You want some? Yeah, I would love some. Probably like I in this some. region, yeah, so I, I can actually have a full Yeah, some. all right. Yeah. Yeah. He needs so the most. That speech, too. that speaking class is really helping out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jeff, you and I share something else in common. We got some. Uh, we got some tattoos. Or any of them? Are you able to show any of them? Or oh, he's gonna stand up. He's gonna give so a little. Here we go. I got right, one right here. This is my family's last name with the eagle from the Mexican flag. Just your family's last name, it's not yours? It. <laughs> I got yes. a name, like a, like a <laughs> yeah. And then I got a, a Ghanaian symbol with my mom's name in the middle. Oh, oh that's cool. And I got one right here, but I don't want to take a mom right No, yeah. that's fair. It's, no. Not a, it's not as cool as the bolt, but. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It's we, we love it. We love it. Yeah, that's fair. All right. So, I mean, that's it for bystanders. So, bro, Jeff, it was nice finally meeting you, dude. I mean, I Dylan's, been, Dylan's been Dylan's yeah. been telling me a lot about you. He's just been making fun of you. So, it's good to actually meet you. But uh, we're going to stick around after the break for a new segment we're going to call Pick Two. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Hey there, I'm Al Roker, class of 76. Yes, way back in 76. Back when the earth was cooling. You're watching <laughs> WTOP.
Uh, welcome back to Old Boy. We really got to invest in some backrests yeah. for these couches because they are it. really getting into John and I. Yeah. Um, but today we'll be looking into a new game called Pick Two. Oh, sorry. This is an idea Riley definitely didn't steal off TikTok. <laughs> uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. We put together a list of things. We're going to pick two of them to be on our team, and the rest are going to try and eat us. So hopefully we can. Take a Are we gonna we gonna throw it up? We gonna yeah. throw it up? We All right, right. It is. All right. So we got oh three man. bears, fifty bald eagles, ten oh wild war dogs, four lions, five thousand <laughs> rats, five baby hippos, one terminator, five silverback gorillas, and twelve wolves. Oh so God. I guess we'll start over with Polly, and then we'll work on it. All right. So I think if I had just had a thing of porridge, oh, here we go. If I had a thing of porridge, the three bears would actually be pretty easy. <laughs> uh, now my, my thought process is uh, I really like the Terminator movies, but I also like kindergarten cop. So I think me and him would bond over the scene where he goes, that is no bathroom. But if, I, if I'm being completely serious, I think I might double down on the rats and take 10,000 rats against oh, everything man. else. Uh, the eagles might be a problem. You know what? Everything might be a problem. Uh, I'm, I will be the rat king and go down as the 10,000 rat man. So I'm taking 10,000 rats. Minch, what about yourself? Um, so are, are these baby hippos or are they fully grown hippos? They're fully, fully grown. grown. Fully, fully grown, grown fully hippos? Fully grown. Riley told us uh, fully well, grown. Well, I know so I that wrong. a gorilla can piece up some grizzly bears, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> give, me, give me gorilla with that one slot. And then, um, I mean, rat, I think a, a hippo could just lay down and crush 5,000 rats, so that's not really an issue. Hello. Um, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. Hippos and... Silverback gorillas, dude, and we're gonna go to town. All right, Jeff. Yeah. All right. So me, yeah. this is hard. This is hard. I might have to go with the five thousand rats. Yes. Is, like, I'm from I'm from New York City. I, got <laughs> yeah. I already got a connection with them. Like you like yeah. this. Like, hey, yeah. There you <laughs> go. Um, the second. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to go with the gorilla. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not the gorilla. Five, 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 five gorillas. Five times better than one. Six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you, you, go. Go. you working out? Look at it. You working out? Yeah. That All dude, right. That dude's Definitely not. But anyway, <laughs> John, how about yourself? Dude, I've seen videos of silver silverback gorillas. They're scary. I'm going definitely picking them for one. And maybe the 50 Eagles get some, some Air Force in there. <laughs> um... I mean, if the, if you're dodging and weaving in the air, what is a bear gonna do? The, the bear's gonna get all the rat, or the eagles are gonna get all the rats, definitely. I mean, that's what they eat for. Yeah, but just there's ten thousand of them, John. More food. They can f eat for. How long is this battle? <laughs> well, we're gonna take it slow. As long as it takes. As long as it takes fifty eagles to eat ten thousand rats, oh, that's yeah. how long the battle is. Yeah. That's a long war. <laughs> yeah. You get the terminator. You get the helicopter. So, Nobody needs yeah. to meet fifty eagles in a helicopter. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going gorillas and uh, eagles. All right, it's my pick. Now Riley showed me this earlier, and I and I thought about it. Right? Well, Not I really thought, thought about, about it. it. It probably took me like ten seconds, and I knew what I was gonna do. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do the five silverback gorillas, and they're all gonna name be Kenny one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to take wild. Terminator, but I don't need Terminator. <laughs> he can just. Go that would actually be the second Terminator. Yeah. You're, no, you're yeah. Terminator yourself. Dude, that, that, that means a lot to me. But anyway, Pretty I wrong. want his motorcycle. So what's going to happen <laughs> is me and a silverback gorilla are going to get on this motorcycle. And we are going to leave those last four gorillas to fight and survive. If they can't survive, that's fine. That's fine. We're playing we're playing Ooh, a long game. Me and the other right. silverback gorilla, yeah. we are ripping this motorcycle till all of a sudden we find Planet of the Apes and we are going to grab the rest of them and we are going to go back and we are going to kick yeah. all these animals' butts. And to be honest with you, I don't know what the heck Pumba and like hey. 10 Pumbas, <laughs> hey. you put a Matana on and they're all just going to be dancing <laughs> Dude, away. Is a motorcycle even going to carry us that's back my, uh, That's my That's my Well, it's Kenny, but. probably not, but uh, we got <laughs> how many more wolves? How many wolves? 10 of them? 12? They're yeah, nothing. They, they only come out during the night. You put a moon in front of them, they're fine. I mean, and what, but, Jeff, I know you are You said you're like this with those rats, dude, yeah. but I mean, all yeah, they're gotta getting do is up. just punch at the ground <laughs> for like five minutes. And the rats are getting pieced up. Too. Yeah, no, I'm, t I'm just saying the gorillas are a good pick. Bro, I have seen videos of gorillas just pretty much stand up and just go. 
just go yeah. swinging. You seen this in person? They're gnarly. Yeah. Uh, no, I've not seen. Every now and then, Kenny will on a weekend. But, but I think <laughs> that's all the time we got for this game. But uh, John. All right. We hope you enjoyed our pick on to. <laughs> what is John this? Can't. Riley can't smell. Oh, no, <laughs> <pick two. laughs> uh, be sure to stick around because after the break, we have another game from my mom. You're watching. Oh, oh boy. boy. Hey there, I'm Al Roker, class of 76. Yes, way back in 76. Back when the earth was cooling. You're watching <laughs> WTOP. The kind of late, kind of late, kind of late, the kind of late show with Chloe and Anna. Like licorice, Twizzlers. Absolutely nasty. The thought of turkey is just nauseating. I, I think can't. you're wrong, is what I think. You think I'm wrong a lot of times. I do think you're wrong a lot. When you look at the number of disasters in the US, chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, Chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Keys down, Kevin. But I'm gonna drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I guess I have really been looking for love in this dating app. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call a ride home. Welcome back to the Billy Joel Fan Club. All right. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh boy. boy. Yeah, you ruined All it. All right, me, I guess. Before we get into the next game that John's mom bought us, we're going to do a quick girlfriend check. John will start. <laughs> well, Megan wanted me to mention that we were uh, Walt and Jesse from Breaking Bad at the party. And I got called cute for some reason. I don't know why. But <laughs> as, as you were cooking. Yeah. No, as of right now. Oh. John, thank you, you for thinking I'm looking cute, cute right now, but you are cute, thank you, John. John is pretty cute. He's a man. Thanks, John. <laughs> He's a good-looking guy. Appreciate that. What do you got, Mitch? What a bro. Um, nothing for my girlfriend. I'd just like to say, beginning of the show, these guys are all liars. I don't know what they told you. I was out looking for the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> and yelling. No, Ella. <laughs> Ella. 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 We got a subject. Yeah. Yeah. English I was English out word. looking, and then I realized I was on the wrong lake, so I decided to come back. Uh, moving on to our next segment, basically <laughs> John's mom loves to buy us new little games to play. So today we're going to play Would You Rather Grown Up Edition. The yeah. Grown Up Edition. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Shall All I right. start? I guess we shall. All right, let's go to a random page. I'm picking we one. we got All six right. minutes to play a game here. Six minutes? Yep. And we got to do our shout outs. Don't we, forget our shout outs. Oh, oh, I got a good shout out today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're starting with this one. Would you rather your significant other tell a highly embarrassing story about you to your friends or your parents do it at a family gathering? So people are gonna know. Family gathering. Family gathering. Yeah, family, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, because if my, I feel yeah. like if things were told to you guys, it would then carry yeah. on until I would probably perish. Yeah, no, we would, if, <laughs> I'm just gonna say if one of your girlfriends or whatever told us a story about you guys that was really embarrassing. It's getting carried on. We'll probably yeah. end up being the group chat's name, and um, there will probably be pictures of it. And yeah. knowing <laughs> Seth, he'll probably have some AI-generated photos of the exact yeah, moment. Will. I know my parents are gonna do it either way, so I might as well pick that one. I mean, Jeff, what about you? Good, good answer. Um, family gathering, like as you said, like my, my parents is gonna say anyways. Like, might as well. They're gonna bring up like stories of baby Jeff. <laughs> baby they gonna, Jeff. They gonna be trying to hit my dad with a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. 
All right, Polly. All right, I'm just gonna go. But would you rather miss your flight and be stuck in the airport for 24 hours, or arrive at your destination with no luggage? Hello. No luggage. Was okay, I've I done know. the stranded thing, having to sleep on an airport floor. That sucks. Yeah. Like that sucks. Like if I'm thinking about it, as far as like I'd much rather land and get sent. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. There he is. That time. The jokes are here. Hello, Nasir. Jeff, what we forgot to tell you is they always kind of play a... I got it! They always tend to play a little joke. Where did you get a bike, Nasir? It's actually my back pocket. Oh, no. And it's called... What's in your wallet? We have stolen Paul Beatty's. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, How did you get my wallet? <laughs> Who will know? Now let's start off with Paul's totally wallet? real identification here. I'll pass them around to the group here. You'll present it. <laughs> this is bogus. <laughs> How much money has he got in there? Is he like Jeff? He broke? He's Yo. got $3. <laughs> Paulie's money is $3. <laughs> Three, That's my life savings, Kenny. Three whole singles. The McLovin. Oh, yeah. it, it was either that or Muhammad. I don't know what to tell you. That's that expired a while ago, eh? Well, on top of the $3 that How Paulie did you get my here, wallet? We have okay, Paul. Paul Beatty's high school ID. No! <laughs> Pull it up. No. Put it up. Put All right, it a little up. context of this photo. They never told me when they were taking it, so my face looks so stupid. I'm like, what are we taking the photo? If they can show it. No! Oh <laughs> Jeff, what do you got to say about right. that part? Are you right, serious? Paul. Kelly okay. looked like Voldemort. Okay. Paul. <laughs> when are you taking the photo, guys? <laughs> that is, how did you get my wallet? Why are you letting me? We also have. What is that? His assistant manager's phone number at Island Pools. <laughs> oh, who? who <laughs> it's Ken Dial him up. Ken Durkee. <laughs> Ken Durkee. Shout Big out shout out, out Ken Durkee. Shout out Ken. Big Boston guy. What are we doing here? I don't call that number. <laughs> Give him he doesn't, a he doesn't know the show. Back home, call that number. He doesn't, <laughs> yeah. he doesn't know the show. We also have, which I'm going to hide the back of it because I don't want to get anybody free. My credit oh, card? Man. <laughs> that is scary. Yeah, I don't think this that is, is legal. Scary. This is not yeah, legal. There's no, we'll keep the credit card the off the screen. On the back. <laughs> Paulie's uh, face. Going with me, and then, what? To top it all off, as long as there's anything else that's not crazy. I say what is this? I say we expose his middle name. What is this? Oh, we can't show No that. name drop on <laughs> What was it? A hundred dollar bill. I say what do you think? Can you keep that one That's a hundred dollar bill. Middle name. Middle name. Do we want me to get, you want me to do a middle name you reveal? Have, you have an option to say it yourself or let them? We have three dollars. Yep, there it is. That's my... Three whole dollars. You let them, you let them keep the three dollars oh. and I say your middle name. Four I'll, I'll reveal You're my balling. middle Four name. Dollars? You balling right now. I, mean, I know. We, we do have your uh, your legal identification in hand if you'd like to tell everybody your I mean your middle name that I'm looking at right now. Yeah. This <laughs> year. <laughs> Money spread. All right, Paul. Like, what is your middle chickens. name before I have to tell the people at home? You're asking me as if I don't know. Yes. Tell them, Kenneth Paul. <laughs> well, oh. Paul Robert Beatty. No, no, I say it like this. Paul Robert Beatty. Paul Robert Beatty. <laughs> Me too, buddy. And on that note, Robert. we'll put Paulie's $4 back. I will return his wallet. Is he really going to mess night that and Enjoy the rest of the show. All righty. Well, Paulie, well, before your whole life was just revealed. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, Nasir. Oh, 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 into the camera. Oh, 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 Definitely no. didn't just hit a camera. But um, I think we got some uh, shout outs. Some shout outs, Polly. Polly, yeah, I know you Well, got... I mean, I can't really follow that. But let's put a let's put a camera on Polly here. I mean, let's I can't really follow. I hope that everything is <laughs> this in is here. This is chaotic. Oh, oh, I see what you can't reveal. All right. <laughs> That's funny, though. Uh, no. Uh, a big shout out uh, to an avid watcher of all three episodes, my Uncle Sean, who is turning uh, the illustrious age. Can I get some can, can some get camera? Back please? on the yeah, I'll back catch. on the pole. Where is that ladder holding? Back on the poly. Oh, oh, and no one got it. What? Back on the poly. Big shout out to my Uncle Sean, who's turning, I think, 31 tomorrow. So a big shout out to him. Uh, love you. Thanks for the support, and I appreciate it, Sean. 
Any shout outs from the rest of the boys? Jeff, you want to shout anyone out? Um, I want to shout out my mother. I want to shout out my family for um, I want to shout out these guys for giving me this opportunity to be here. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I love you, mom. What's the verdict on? I gotta shout out Megan. He is a bro. Should be mad. He is a bro. Shout out Megan. Shout out Megan. And Jeff, congratulations, boss. You are a bro. But guys, that is all the time we are going to have.